a real need given the uh, aging of America to keep people independent in their homes for longer periods of time. With a smart home, we're using sensors that we put in the home on the ceiling that detect things like motion that's occurring within the environment, detecting activities and detecting when people may need assistance. We've been using uh, machine learning algorithms to quickly figure out what are um, typical patterns of the person and then ultimately to detect when something abnormal Normal is occurring. And so if a person, for example, fails to follow their normal routine, so they don't get up until much later, and when they get up, they don't go to the kitchen to make themselves breakfast, then that might be an alert that there's some sort of concern and someone needs to go in and check on that person. What we're hoping to do is develop a technology that not only monitors for health-related issues and can detect if a person's starting to have more difficulties functioning in their everyday environment, but we also want to be able to intervene. So if a person, for example, does leave the stove on, we want to be able to prompt them to be able to do that. If they're having difficulty with an activity every day and we're prompting them on that every day, that eventually some of that skill may come back and they may not need the prompt for a while. People want to remain independent in their homes. We still have a ways to go, but if we don't work with the technology that we have, I'm not sure that we're going to be in a position to handle this wave of the aging population in terms of nursing homes and in other sorts of things.